Hello, my name is Heather Wright and I'm a dietitian at Hy-Vee in Davenport, Iowa. I am here to share some helpful tips on how to create a healthy lunch for any workplace setting. It can sometimes be tricky to be creative while also eating healthy. But before we get started, it's good to ask yourself a few things about your workplace. For example, does my workplace provide a refrigerator or freezer for me to store my food? Also, how much space is available to store my food? What kind of cooking capabilities does my workplace offer, such as does it have a microwave available or even a toaster? And then of course, how much time do I have for my lunches? Depending upon the workplace and the schedule for your day, you may have 15 minutes to even one hour for your lunch hours that can definitely influence the types of meals that you pack for your lunch. Of course, the more cooking capabilities available, the more creative you can be with your meals. But let's not forget to keep in mind that it's important to try to, to create a well-balanced, healthy meal. The best way to do this is to try to follow the 2010 My Plate Dietary Guidelines. The 2010 My Plate Dietary Guidelines roughly states what should be eaten at every meal throughout the day. That will include one-fourth of your plate as a grain source, which you should try to aim for making half your grains whole. One-fourth of your plate should be a protein source, which they recommend should be lower fat protein options. And then of course, one half of your plate should be fruits and vegetables. And of course, it is also important to remember to vary your, the colors of your fruits and vegetables so that you get all the proper nutrients that your body needs. And then finally, let's not forget that we need to add dairy to our day. We can get dairy through a variety of sources, but it is also good to remember to try to make them low fat or reduced fat. So let's see what we have in our lunch pack today. For a protein source, hummus would be a very good option to have in a lunch because it is easily Portable. And then, of course, in this pre portioned pack, that creates less preparation time at home. To add to the hummus, it is good to add fresh vegetables. Of course, a variety of vegetables is great celery, carrots, broccoli, cauliflower, or even fresh bell peppers that you slice up. And then, of course, we don't want to forget our grain source. Trying to find a healthier grain source or a whole grain is always good. However, if you can find one that has another health benefit, that can be good as well, such as these crackers that have flaxseed, which offers omega-3 fatty acids, which are good for your heart. And then, of course, we don't want to forget our, fro our fruit for the day, fresh fruit or canned, but of course, fresh is best because it will provide less sugar. And then finally, we need to make sure we get a dairy source. Uh, for this lunch, I have packed a Greek yogurt, some other good sources for you to choose for your dairy would be any type of milk, um, regular yogurt, Greek yogurt, or even slices of cheese or string cheese. And especially with the string cheese, that can definitely provide an easy, packable um, source of dairy for the day. And it's also good to remember it can be easy when you're focusing on packing your lunch to utilize um, packing containers. Those are easy to prevent your food from, from getting crushed. And then, of course, pre-portion size bags will also help. Snack size bags can help with portion size and portion control. Be sure to check out my next video on some other creative, more creative ways to pack a healthy lunch.